praise the first one together. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. Lord, bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. One more time, the Lord bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. Right, let's quickly pray. God, we thank you. May you bless us, keep us, give us your grace and peace during this time of worship, Lord. Guard the hearts and the minds of the remnants. May they succeed during this time. Uh, may they be able to enjoy uh, the covenant and the vision that you've given to us, uh, given to them, Lord. Each and every single day, uh, may they be able to see the dream, um, and may they be able to enjoy uh, that dream uh, for 24 hours, for all of the days of their lives, Lord. Uh, during this time of worship, uh, may all the force of darkness be broken. Uh, we know. Uh, we, we know that uh, you are indwelling, working, and guiding inside of our lives. Uh, but God, uh, so many times we forget, uh, but God, during this time of worship, may we be able to realize the amazing uh, identity and authority that we have. Um, God, bless us once again. Bless the teachers. Bless all the pastors. Uh, may we succeed in worship today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, quickly, bless one another. There's such strong, strong, strong enthusiasm in the air. Bless one another. One more time. Oh, my. All right. Okay. So this week is VBS, and as promised, we're going to do some of the new songs together. Okay? Now. Yes. Okay. But. Okay. I want you guys to sing it first, okay? No body worship. Okay? Unless unless it's if it's pop punk. Do you know the body worship? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> All right, my favorite of this year. You will be surprised. It's an old one. You guys ready? I have my own spin on it. Okay? So you guys will enjoy it. All right, let's praise this one together, okay? Did you ever stop to think about God has done for you. You ready? What? You ready? Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Did you and did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? All the blessings God has given you. It's just too good to be true When you think about grace to you Give him thanks is what you'll do Close your eyes and think about it now You'll just have to say wow Amazing grace, amazing blessing God has given unto you Just turn around and guess what you'll find Oh my, you will be surprised if you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you. 
all the blessings God has given you. It's just too good to be true. When you think about grace, you, I'm sorry, giving thanks is what you'll do. Close your eyes and think about it now. You'll just have to say, wow, amazing grace, amazing blessings God has given unto you. Just turn around and guess what you'll find? Oh my, you will be surprised. Did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? All the blessings God has given you. It's just too good to be true. Amazing grace, amazing blessing God has given unto you. Just turn around and guess what you'll find. Oh my, you will be surprised when you think of God's grace to you. Giving thanks is what you'll do. Close your eyes and think about it now. You'll just have to say, oh, wow. 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 no, come to you'll just have to say, wow. no, come on, here we go. Close your eyes and think about it now. You'll just have to say, wow. there you go. Wow. All right, good. I want you guys to shout it out, okay? All right. Next one. God's mystery. Oh, that's right. Come not it all. All right, here we go. All right. And I will give. And I will give thanks and sing. I will give thanks and sing. Jesus Christ came to this world. He is the King. I will give thanks and sing. I will give thanks and sing for every blessing heaven he will bring. I will give. And I will give thanks and sing, I will give thanks and sing. Jesus Christ came to this world, he is the king. I will give thanks and sing, I will give thanks and sing. For every blessing in heaven he will bring. All that my God Emmanuel has planned my life to be, He'll fulfill His will in me. All that my God Emmanuel has planned my life to be, He'll fulfill His will in me. Oh my. Oh, my spirit, rejoice in him, all the nations, give thanks to him. Oh, my spirit, rejoice in him, Jesus Christ, the, the Savior of my soul, I will give. I will give thanks and sing, I will give thanks and sing, Jesus Christ came to this world, he is the king, I will give thanks and sing, I will give thanks and sing, for every blessing in heaven he will bring all that. All that my God Emmanuel has planned my life to be, he'll fulfill his will in me. All that my God Emmanuel has planned my life to be, he'll fulfill his will in me. Oh, my spirit, 
rejoice in Him. All the nations give thanks to Him. All my spirit rejoice in Him. Jesus Christ, the, the Savior of my soul. All right. One of you guys are singing in Korean. It's okay. Who is singing in Korean? Tang. I thought so. Okay. Learn it in English too, okay? There's English lyrics out now too. Okay? All right. Next one. Oh, okay. This one's a little bit tricky because starting tomorrow, okay, teachers, um, what is it? Teacher's hand, deaconess hand is going to teach you how to do the harmonization parts. Okay? And you guys are going to do that harmonization part. Okay? You'll you'll figure it out tomorrow. All right. Let's do this one, okay? Um, for God so loved the whole world. Okay? You guys ready? All right, here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe him should not die but have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe him shall receive everlasting life yes Jesus loves me Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves you, yes, Jesus loves you, yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever who would believe him shall not die but have eternal life for god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever who would believe him shall have everlasting life yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow, okay? Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Okay? You guys got it? You guys will figure it out tomorrow. All right, last one. A different dream. No, it's next week. No, 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 no. It was last week, Paul. You missed it. Yes, it is tomorrow. All right, here we go. This dream. This dream I have is different. It's not a dream that the world would give. It's not a dream that's just for me, but a dream that God gave to me. Listen, I have a different dream. It's not 
but a dream that the world would get. This dream fulfills God's covenant. It's a dream that God gave to me. So I will not shake or sway. I won't quit or run away. It's the covenant that will make a way as I pray to him each day knowing he is with me always make my life a masterpiece to see the world this is my dream this dream this dream I have is different it's not a dream that the world would give. It's not a dream that's just for me, but a dream that God gave to me. Listen, I have a different dream. It's not a dream that the world would get a dream. This dream fulfills God's covenant. It's a dream that God gave to me. So I will not shake or swing. I won't quit or run away. The covenant dream he gave that will come true will make a way as I pray to him each day, knowing he is with me always. Make my life a masterpiece to see the world. This is my dream. Amen. Hey. All right. Now you guys can stand because now we're going to do some Bible worship. All right. I need a helper. All right. Who has the closest birthday? You're September? Okay. All right. September. August? I don't, I like September. <laughs> My What's when's your birthday? I like 16. <laughs> You're September 1st? I still like the 16. <laughs> All right, here we go. My little heart goes thump thump thump. Oh no. My little heart goes thump, thump, thump. My little eyes, they are shining so bright. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. My little, my little heart goes thump, thump, thump. My little eyes, they are shining so bright. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. Here we go. La, 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 la. La 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 I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ I'm thankful ever. I can go forever Here we go My little heart goes My little eyes there I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ I'm thankful every day My little, my little heart goes My little eyes there I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. Here we go. La 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 I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. La 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 I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. I am. I'm thankful every day. 
I'm thankful every day. Man, those are some creepy eyes, man. All right, here we go, deep down. I'll help you. I need your help, okay? Yes. All right, here we go. Deep, 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 oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down. All right, everyone. Deep down in my heart, deep, 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 oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus, deep, deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart, do you love your, I'll help you on, call it out. Deep down in my, do you love, do you love your Jesus? Deep down. Deep down in my heart, do you, do you love your Jesus? Deep down. Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your And the one last one, deep, deep, here we go, deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus deep down in your everyone together? Deep down in my arms. All right, thank you, Hop Young. You're going to help me during VBS, okay? Hop Young's the oldest, right? Daniel's not coming? All right, you guys all can sit down. All right. May you guys be blessed. May God keep you, give you grace and peace through today's worship, okay? Amen? All right, let's sing one last one together, and we'll have a remnant. Is it Hapyong? Okay, Sam, come on, play for us. All right, God is so good. And God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. God is God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so to me one last time God is so hallelujah God is so good hallelujah God is so good he's so Samuel will come up and pray for us.
Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Please help all of us to hold on to your word, and please help all of us to imprint the things of God in ourselves and have concentration in our fields and in our summit time. Please help all of us to remember Acts 138, uh, Jesus Christ, God's kingdom, and the filling of the Holy Spirit. And please help all of us to um, succeed in our fields and share the gospel. And please help Teacher Jinster uh, have the double portion of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you. All right. No, they didn't say amen. It's for you. Amen. Okay. Hi, Sadin. Okay. All right, guys. Let's all take out our prayer books. Let's pray together the Apostles' Creed. Do you guys have everything ready? All right. Let's pray together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father, will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy and universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Success and worship be to one. May it open my heart to receive your word that I might devote myself to the pastor's teaching, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. I grant the five powers to the pastors. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. Six to one. Being obedient to the point of death for God's word and following the heart of Jesus Christ who died on the cross, may you allow the answers and blessings of a thousand percent obedience of the word received from today's worship. I confess that Jesus Christ is my master. May you receive all the glory. Lord God, three to one. Love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. <gasps> Prayer for evangelism, mission streets, one. May you give me the word to boldly open my mouth and proclaim the rightful words. Mystery of the gospel, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. What's wrong? What's wrong? Even now, the triune God is, oh yeah, inhale. Mm, hold it. Even now, the triune God is at work always and forever. Even now, God is working by his spirit. And the word? Father. Even now, the Christ is getting rid of three curses, disasters, hell, sin, and as a PPK, prophet, priest, king, and accomplish salvation as? Son. The son. And even now, unseen to rise, the holy spirit. is working upon us. Deeply enjoy this. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it. What is arising right now? Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth and church. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying invisible to your eyeballs, God mobilizes the angels for his errands. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. You have an amazing authority. The king's power from above. You begin to break down the background of hell, bind Satan, break down all the forces of darkness. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. And five great strengths will be made for you spiritual power, intellectual power, physical power, financial power, man power. Exhale. Yawning is exhaling. Inhale. Hold. There's something more important than all of these. Not only your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become something to do well in your studies. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Heaven. This is our background by the mystery of the triune God who joined God's kingdom here on earth. Then we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom. It will come. Like Esther waited, remember? Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. As Joseph waited, God's kingdom came. He went as a slave even to prison. He was still able to wait. Exhale. Inhale. 
told, hell, we don't die and go to hell, but people are living a hellish life on earth, having in the background of hell. They go to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments their life at the end, drags people to hell. Ah, exhale. <laughs> Inhale. Hold. Angels, at the background of heaven, angels are ministering God's work. When you die, they usher us to heaven. Wherever you go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. This is where everything begins to be solved. Help me to have a healthy spiritual state that rises to flow. Our covenant is filled with the Holy Spirit. Always help me to listen to the voice of God, not the words of people. Exhale. I never noticed that we have a paper towel dispensary right here on the wall. Oh, uh, church, it's the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which you get there. Exhale. Oh, great. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Hold. People that are owners must meet leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing. What's true healing? Wow. Evangelism and missions. Um, uh, which is making disciples of 237 nations. Spiritual healing. Saving the posterity. The posterity. Receiving power through the Holy Spirit to be a witness to the very, to Chicago, Illinois, to the ends of the earth. In other words, <laughs> Summit Healing 237. What happens when the Holy Spirit works? Ways of evangelism open. <laughs> we find hidden prepared disciples like Tychicus and Gaius and Timothy. Scripture is fulfilled and recreation takes place. So we need to hold on to only Jesus, only background of heaven, and in dwelling guidance, working in the filling of the Holy Spirit, and enter into talking communication with God. Enjoy God's peace, grace, and blessings. So we need to hold on to our P I D V C. C stands for see it in advance. C stands for see in advance. V stands for V in advance. D stands for dream, which is covenant. We hold on to our covenant dream and we enjoy the have time. I stands for what? Image. And whose image are we created in? Our creator God, which means fish in the water, bubba bubba, birds flying in the sky, quack. So we enjoy God being with us on our covenant journey. Do you understand? Yeah. Are you gonna keep, are you gonna sleep today? You already yawned three times. No, I've been counting. Conquer win ahead of time. Victory in advance. RCA message. Peace stands for what? Practica. Pra practica. We put into practica God's goal because He already finished everything on the tree. Well, he has the same glasses of Banshigi. Yeah, you know what Banshigi did yesterday? It was so random. He came into the classroom, he goes up to Lydia, and he burps on Lydia and just leaves. <laughs> what the? I've never seen anything so rude. <laughs> Carry out our duties as the 
What up? What up? What the? What the? Watchman, doctor, ambassador. W A D O A. What the? No, 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 not what the B. What the C V D I P. Watchman, doctor, ambassador. It's like I'm dealing with a bunch of first and second graders. Oh, what est her had in advance? There's something est her had in advance. Yeah. Paul came to church last night. And then he kept asking, where's Bonzok? Where's Bonzok? Where's David? Where's David? Is David here? David's my role model. And he didn't, and nobody asked anything about Sam. No, I asked about Bonzok. Where's Bonchiki? Bonchiki legend. Hook. Can I move on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Esther chapter 2, 20, and chapter 4, 14, 15, and 16. All right, if you're at 2, 20, let's read it together. Wait, do we guys need a couple minutes to find it? Okay, I'll give you exactly 37 seconds. It's chapter 4, verses 14, 15, and 16. 14 through 16. Where's your Bible? Why? Well, bring your Bible every time we have worship. Come on. Why are you lying? Joking. It's like you break a car window, whoosh, and the owner comes, and you're like, oh, it, I was just joking. Damage has been done. All right, let's read it together in one voice. Ready? Three, two, one. But Esther had kept secret her family background and nationality just as Mordecai had told her to do. For she continued to follow Mordecai's instructions as she had done when he was bringing her up. And then 4, 14 through 16. Okay, you just flipped the page, right? Ready, 3, 2, 1. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your father's family will perish and who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai. Go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my maids will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. <laughs> Life staking. Just like Daniel and his three friends, right? Today, oh, Jesus, love Jesus, power, Jesus. Healing. Lesson objective to have the reason and God's desire. Like remnant, that's to her. No, Esther, not Banzuk. The only thing on Nepal's mind is Banzuk. Should I be worried? Good. Paul says like Ponzo 237 times a day. You just said Ponzo again. Why do you keep saying Ponzo so cool? <sighs> yeah, he's pretty cool. Oh, that's extra cool. Can I move on? Can I move on? Reason and God's desire. That's important too. Three words. Reason and God's desire. Okay. Word. Reason.
reason, God's desire. <laughs> you have to click that, and then you click that, and then you do that. Okay. Moving on. Nope. Now, remnants. Uh, we learned about a bunch of different remnants this month, right? We learned about Daniel. We learned about his three friends. We learned about Elisha. We learned, we're going to learn about Esther. They all had CVDIP. And what does C stand for? Covenant. And Covet, co no, Covenant. Covenant is knowing the true problem. And you know what? Every problem, what's the answer? Yeah. Whatever problem happens to people, to mankind, to the world, it's all from original sin, right? That's the root of all problems, right? Yeah. It's a deep spiritual problem. And the only answer to that is, or solution to that is, Christ. So what does it mean to hold on to CVDIP? Well, C is the most important part. We need to hold on to covenant, right? What's covenant? Christ, God's kingdom, Holy Spirit. There's a remnant who always says, uh, and to always hold on to 138. I always want to hold on to 138. And now he's getting embarrassed. And he's like, 138, 138. No, say that part boldly and proudly. What's the covenant? That's all we got to hold on to. Hold on to Christ. Hold on. Hold on tight. Because that's all we need to hold on to. You know what I'm saying? That's on Six Flags, Great America. The roller coaster ride. Ah! <laughs> and next, if we hold on to the covenant only, only Christ, vision follows. Right? What's vision? Vision is seeing the future, right? What's the future? The end will come when the gospel is preached to all nations. So we already know the end result. Now, are we going to be used for that? That's the problem. Well, that's the issue. Eh, that's the important part. So vision, it's knowing God's plan. What's God's plan? God's plan is to destroy everybody? No, God's, God's plan is for salvation, right? He wants to save everybody. Now, many people, if you don't believe that Jesus is Christ, then of course you're going to face destruction. But we have to share the gospel. God's plan. Oh, we need to see the future ahead of time. See God's plan ahead of time. Oh, wow. No, because she's seeing the vision ahead of time. So is that one. Oh, wow. And once we have the vision, once God shows us the vision of world evangelization, then we start thinking about it 24 hours, right? What do you think about 24, oh, fourth, Jan. What do we think about 24 hours a day? Pansog. <laughs> Pansog is your dream. Harry Potter is your dream. Game is your dream. Luca is your dream. Pokemon is your dream. Figure skating is your dream. Soccer is your dream. Hi, hi, hi is your dream. Right? Whatever you think about, that's 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 what's imprinted. But we need to start thinking, or God has to allow us to pray 24 hours always, which means you're constantly thinking about how am I going to fulfill the covenant dream. Yeah, which means that's what you're praying about 24 hours. Yeah, just like these precious remnants. What's what's Tony holding on to? A peach. 
Wait, who's that all the way in the back? <laughs> I didn't see you back there. 24 hour prayer. And then I. <laughs> yeah, image. Image, now this is, now, now we're getting at, so, someone, someone prayed, God help us to imprint the, the things of God. Oh. Yeah, the 20, 25 is talking about the things of God, what belongs to God. Now we start receiving the God-given answers. What belongs to God? It's starting to be revealed to us. Wow. And we're creating God's image, right? Yeah, we're creating God's image. While we were eating, was it dinner or lunch yesterday? One remnant's like, in my school, they teach that people are, are from monkeys. And then I said, wait a second, God's word didn't say, so God created boy monkey and girl monkey in his image. He created them. No, God created man, 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 male, 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 and female. But God created us different spiritual beings, right? Monkeys are not spiritual beings. So we enjoy God being with us, true happiness. And then God said to Adam and Eve, go conquer the entire world. So that's what we got to do. We conquer our studies. We conquer sports. We go and conquer competition. We go and conquer chess competition. We go and conquer tic-tac-toe competition, we go and conquer. Cooking contest, we go and conquer. We go and conquer, right? Go conquer the world. If you, uh, oh, but no, 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 but I have to go. But if you're able to say, you know what? Nope, I'm not gonna listen to the world. And you succeed in worship, that means you conquered that field. What if this remnant's like, tutoring? Nope, I don't need tutoring. I got to go to worship. That means you conquer tutoring. Done. Oh, but I have to go to graduation on Sunday. I have to miss church. No, I don't need to go to graduation. That means you conquered graduation. Soccer practice. Oh, I can't miss soccer practice. I can I have to I had to do the soccer game on Sunday. But if you could say to your coach, nope. That means you conquered that field. God has no choice but to bless you there. Doesn't matter. In every field, go conquer. That means put God first, and then God will give you that field. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But then we're slaves to it. Ah. No. Y'all set free. Go conquer. See how God works. Don't be. Uh, oh, my parents said I can't go to church. Be remnants who conquer your family field. Oh, I have to go to vacation. I have to go to Florida. No, I'm staying. Go we'll conquer. Are you guys conquered by school and programs, extracurricular activities? Are you conquered by your parents who don't even succeed in worship? Be remnants who save your family field. Real. And then practice. Put into practice. Esther's like, you know what? I know God's desire is to save the Israelites. Uh, am I going to be slave and say, no, I can't go to the king? If I go to the king without permission, I... <coughs> but then Esther is like, you know what? No, pray for me, and I'm going to put it into practice. I'm going to go to the king. I'm going to stake my life. That's putting it into practice. Same with Daniel's three friends. They put it into practice. But we don't put it into practice. And we're like, oh, it's okay. I'm a child of God. 
<laughs> Don't you guys want to grow up to be historic remnants, just like the remnants in the Bible? Don't be slaves. Slaves to the world. Slaves to whatever. Oh my. So powerful. Speaking of powerful, so Hajin was doing like 40 push ups yesterday in a row. I was surprised. <laughs> Out of nowhere, he's like, Look, Tear Jinster. <laughs> like 40. Wow. He's stronger than Bansugi. Who's more cooler, Paul? Ding, ding. Oh, Bonzo. We put it into practice because, you know, what's more important? It's the eternal things, eternity. There was this one track star. And track stars, it's Olympic. It's Olympic event. And the track star is like, no, I got to go to church. Sorry, I can't run on Sunday. <gasps> he trained his entire life. And then the event was on Sunday. But he's like, no, it's okay. I put God first. I'll run a different event on a different day. And then he, he ran a different event on a, on a weekday. And then do you know what happened? Even though that's not his specialty, he won first place. Don't you think God will work like that for remnants? We take church and worship so lightly. Do our parents take it so lightly? I hope not. At least you, I hope you guys don't. Just live your life. Steak. Look at this review. Elisha had spiritual strength. Remnants, if you're able, if you're gonna be like Esther and those three friends, we need spiritual strength. If we don't have spiritual strength, then we're gonna be oh. We need spiritual strength. That's that's why we do summit time. Okay, anyways, God called Elijah and Elisha, sup, sup, hey, sup, let's go, sup, yeah, sup. Wait for me. What do you want? Two. Okay, here you go. Yo, chillax. Angels, blind. Come follow me. Don't attack again. We yo. With Emmanuel oneness. Some time, some add to some vessel. There was this one remnant. It's like the younger remnant was doing something on the computer, and this older remnant's like, wow, good job. Wow, that's amazing. What? I'm like, wow, that remnant really knows how to compliment one another. That's summit attitude, summit vessel. Wow, oh, Bonds looks so cool. Wow. You're really good at complimenting whoever that remnant is. But then there's other remnants who are like, who always make fun of other remnants. It's like, doo -doo. Oh. oh my God. Even adults make fun of remnants. Yeah. Yeah. Even when we were eating duck yesterday, last night we had duck and snacks, crackers, and an adult comes. And then makes fun of a young remnant. I was like, oh, come on. Bonds look so cool. Agree? Agree. And then there's Daniel. Well, Daniel has some time. Who moved the spiritual world. Okay, once we have God's desire, then we do our best, right? And then we have no choice but to be the best because God has no choice but to use that remnant. Just like the track star who knew God's desire. No, I have to keep the Sabbath holy. And he skipped the Olympic event on Sunday. And then he, got, he was the best. No choice. Or there was this, this person and then the, the president wanted him to work for him. And then this person's like, no, sorry, I can't work in the White House on Sunday. I have to go teach Sunday school to just a group of kids. And the president is like, oh, no, 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 we, we need you. You don't have to work on Sunday, but please work for us. And he's like, okay. Don't you think God will bless us remnants if we have that spiritual summit TAV? 
to stake your life? Or are we going to be... Uh, we have no choice but to be like that weird guy. But, but if I don't do it, then how am I going to be prepared to do world evangelization? See, you make all these excuses. Don't you think God, the creator, has the power to raise you to the summit like this? But, 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 but. So many buts, so many excuses. These remnants have such big buts. But, but, but. Huge butts. <laughs> and then we can challenge, right? And then if Satan tries to attack you with fear, well, if you don't come, then you'll be kicked out. If you don't do this, you're going to get in trouble. Then you'd be like the remnant and kick, the, kick Satan in the face. Kick him in the face. Yeah. Daniel saw in advance. He saw all God's people. They were captives because they lost hold of the covenant. They already put things in front of church and worship. So don't take it lightly. But then God brought these few remnants, just a few. It only takes a few who realize, you know what? Why am I here? Yeah, I'm here for revenge and missions. There's a, there's a few remnants who God moved the entire world and caused coronavirus and got all the schools shut down so that they could just receive training and succeed in worship at church. So God moved the entire world for those couple remnants. Isn't that amazing? Do you know how precious you are? Don't you know God's moving the entire world for remnants? Remember Teacher Jinster, I was praying at school. I prayed with a student. And the, the parents and the principals like, oh, you, you can't do that. And then what happened like a few, like a week later? The president goes on TV and says, prayer is allowed in school while I'm a president. Don't you think God moves entire country, entire world just for a few remnants who hold on to the covenant? I believe it. That's proof right there. That's proof right there. Daniel and his three friends, and I don't know what that troublemaker in the back is doing, but they knew what to absolutely do. And then same with Daniel. He served four kings. Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, good job. Belshazzar. Get Daniel. Okay. What does it mean? Many, many tackled Parson. And then there's Darius. Remember those jelly people? Got him. Roar. It's okay. Don't you think God could just shut the mouths of the little kitty cats for one night? Of course. Nothing's impossible for God. There was this one remnant who wore a t-shirt yesterday. Something, all, all things are possible. All is possible or something. Yeah, with God. We have to hold on to covenant. Some students are like, I want to be a firefighter. All dreams come true. I want to be a singer. All dreams come true. And then you hear the student singing, and it makes you want to, like, tear your ears out. Ah! No, covenant dream. God has to prepare you. And then remember the three dudes last week? God's people were doing idol worship. Of course they got destruction. They're, they faced destruction. But then God sent them to Babylon for vengeance and missions. They, were, they entered into the palace, which was part of God's plan. And then they made a resolution. Give us vegetables. Ten days. Wow, such long necks. That's right. They were proud remnants. Oh, and then they were even powerful. Wow. Don't you think God can work like this? I mean, look at that guy. You don't want to mess with that guy. Wow. 
And then the three dudes, they met a resolution. Remember the, the golden statue, like 90 feet tall? Do it, or else you'll be thrown into the fiery furnace. Everybody's like, because they're afraid. But then the three friends, nope. We're not even going to argue with you, king. King's like, no, nobody could rescue you. Make it seven times hotter. <laughs> and then he looks closely, and there's four. Angel, of course. Don't you think? That's one of our blessings, mobilization of angels. It's an angel. I don't know. Yeah, they were perfectly fine. And the non-believer, a non-believer king says, your God is the true God. Wow. And then they were promoted. Yeah, of course, that's rightful. I don't know. I'll go there and I'll, I don't know. Okay, now let's talk about Esther. Now, there was a new king, King Cyrus. And the King Cyrus is like, you know what, Israelites? You may return. Go return home and build your temple. This is the good king, huh? This is the good king, King Cyrus. And then all God's people, they left Bab Babylon. Wow. See what happens just because of a handful of remnants? Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah. Just, it just takes a few. They were so happy. I mean... They left Babylon. What? What are you talking about? Maybe because his sister is kicking him in the face. Wait, what? Oh, that one's extra happy. You're married? Who's that guy? What's his name and social security number and address? So happy. Yeah. And then they rebuilt the temple. Wow. But. <sighs> See what happens. They lost all of the covenant again. And then a new evil king named Xerxes from, the, from Persia. A new, a new superpower nation. Uh-oh. And he got his huge army, and they took over. They took over Babylon, and they took over the Israelites again. I, uh, oh, my gosh, again. But then Esther's like, no, duh. It's so obvious, rightful, because God's people kept losing all the covenants. No, duh. Looks familiar. No covenant, of course you'll face destruction. Of course. No God's word, of course you're going to face destruction. But you know, what's, you know what's even more scary? If nothing happens, even if you're, if, even if you're failing in worship, that, mean God, that means God's just ignoring you. But what if you're, what if you're failing in worship? But then God keeps giving you problems. Does that mean God really loves you and he wants you to bring you back? Yeah. What, what happens if you're, if you're not succeeding in worship and then life is good? That means God's ignoring. Isn't that scary? So, we gotta, so it's good that we face problems. Oh, poor Pansogi. Because those are Persian soldiers, bad soldiers. And then there's a new king, King Xerxes, or King Ahasuerus, King Aha. He showed off his awesome, huge, humongous palace of Susa. Yeah, and he gathered all the leaders of all the 127 provinces, and then he had a banquet. What? No, not yet. 
And he showed off all his wealth. And then he had like golden sofas everywhere. Remember that? Oh, yeah. the golden couches everywhere. And he probably had lots of entertainment. Wow, she's really talented, huh? <laughs> wow. I could look at that for hours. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that is. And then they had a a banquet, a wedding no not a wedding, a banquet for like well, it was like 180 days of showing off his wealth. And then the last week, couple weeks, they held a banquet. They had delicious food, entertainment. Okay, the, yeah, he's really enjoying the food. And then, okay, so King Aha had a queen. Queen's beautiful. Like Vashti. Vashti's name means like beauty. Yeah, I'm sure she was beautiful. On the outside. Now Queen Vashti was having her own banquet with the, with the woman or the maids. Yeah, so there's Vashti. And then remember she had a little whoop, whoop, whoop problem? Whenever she had a little grape juice, what happened? She kept getting self-centered and defiant. And then uh, the butler said, you've been summoned to the king. What did Vashti say? Mm, uh, no. What, do I belong to my husband? Well, that's what the Bible says, but she didn't know. She was group, 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 group. And he was angry. <laughs> Almost as angry as Lydia when Banshee burped on her and, and ran away. <laughs> yeah. And the butler came. She said no. And then, like every time, every time one remnant says, I'm like, hey, how are you doing today? Da, da, da. Um, okay. <laughs> and then she laughs afterwards. <laughs> okay, and then there was, uh, what's his name? Hey, man. Hey, man came. He says, oh, we should get a new queen then. Get rid of the old one. Let's get a new queen, hey man says. And then Vashti was banished. Bye Vashti. Oh, poor Vashti. Now Esther had the mission, so now let's talk about Esther. You're in second grade. You should be able to write this. What's taking so long? Hmm? Pretty soon you're going to be in third grade. And then fourth grade. And then middle school. Get it together. Yeah. 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 I wonder how many remnants here are going to stay when you guys are college age. Because lots of remnants, they just leave. They don't know. They don't know. All right, so there's Esther. And then Esther was taken captive along with uh, Mordecai. And then I guess she was separated from her parents. So Mordecai took care. Looks familiar. I recognize that those pants and the t-shirt. And the shoes. 
Anyways, and then Mordecai is like, shh, don't tell anybody you're Jewish. Don't. It's like your parents saying, don't tell anybody you're Korean. No. Hey, what are you? Have you ever heard that question before at school? Hey, what are you? What do you mean? Are you Chinese? Are you Japanese? Are you ding, 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 ding? <laughs> but then your parents are like, shh, don't tell anybody you're Korean. Then what am I? Up. Bum -ba -da -da. Hear ye, hear ye. All the young ladies shall come to the palace and receive, was it 10 months? Like a year of training to become the next queen. And all the girls are like, ah! All the girls. Because they wanted to be queen and get all the money and nice dresses. And then one of them have to be, happened to be Esther. Looks familiar. It's a familiar soccer uniform. So they, were, they receive all the training. And then, oh, but, but God made it so that Esther was a little different. She was a little different. There were lots of, there, I'm sure there was lots of candidates like that, that ten, antenna lady, maybe bald ladies, maybe. Okay, a squirrel lady. Sassy twins. But then Esther was a little different. God made it like that because God prepared Esther. Oh, and the king was head over heels over Esther. Vroom, vroom. Did, did you ever did you ever feel that? You see someone and you're like vroom, vroom. No, no, no. Paul just said, yeah. Okay, we gotta pray for you. Severe spiritual problem. Male, man and female. Not man and man. Yeah. And some people are like, but love is love. That means America is already severe spiritual problems. There's, that means there's lots of evil spirits hovering over America. Oh, it, oof, yeah. Good thing God sent a bunch of remnants to U.S. to save it. Yeah, because God only had to send like three, four, five people to Babylon, but God sent all of us to America. That means oh, it's an even bigger spiritual battle, I guess. Anyways, God moved uh, Xerxes' heart to fall in love with Esther. Here's Esther. And then she became the queen. But then she remembered, shh, don't tell anybody you're Korean. I'm just kidding. That you're Jewish because you have to wait for God's perfect time schedule. Okay? Time schedule. It's worship time. And then God, I mean, King Aha threw a big banquet for Esther and even made a holiday for Esther. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty big head. <laughs> but then she remembered, I'm here for a reason. She knew. Same with uh, the three friends. They knew they were here there for a reason, which was evangelism missions, right? Okay, and then there was a jealous, uh, what's his name? Hey, man. And the hey, man, he liked attention. Do you know people like that, who like attention? I know lots of adults like this. They like attention. And then he's like, everybody bow, 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 bow. Why aren't you bowing? Bow, bow, bow. And Mordecai's like, nope. Kneel. Nope. Get out of your house and kneel. 
Nope. It was Mordecai and you. You know what? No, I worship God. I'm not going to worship you. Strange insect person. <laughs> and then uh, Haman went to King Aha and says, we need to destroy this group of people because they're so rebellious. Kind of like uh, those jealous people for Daniel, right? Destroy all the Jewish people. Here's my signet ring. Do whatever you need to do. What a bad king. And then, yeah, he decreed. And every, all the Jewish people, they're sad. and They're being attacked. Well, they're about to get attacked and killed. As soon as the decree is published. And then everyone's crying. Oh, what do we do? And then Esther found out about it, about Uncle Mordecai. But the queen's like, I can't just barge in. And, and go to the king's room. I die. I can't do that. But then Mordecai's like, if you don't do this, you think you'll be safe. You think you'll be safe, but you won't escape. You and your entire family, they're gonna, you're going to be destroyed. Because if you keep silent right now, God's going to save the Israelites. Maybe not through you, but you and your family your house will perish. Just like that, God's going to do his work. God's going to do his work. It's a matter of, it's a matter of are we going to be used for God's work? If not, then that means you'll be destroyed, just like Mordecai warned Esther and her family. And maybe this is why God created you in the first place. There's a reason you're here. And the Esther's like, oh, dang, you got me. She's like, dang, you got me, Mordecai. Wait, what? She ate a dang bar. <laughs> you got me, Mordecai. All right, gather, gather all the Jewish people, all the Israelites. Don't eat anything for three days, three nights, and pray. She's like, dang, you got me. Three days later, three days, three nights later, has to resolve, you know what? Okay, God, time to go. If I perish, I perish. Imagine how nervous she was. Aren't you nervous? Like, you guys even get nervous before like a competition, right? But then imagine this is her this is life or death. Wow. And she approached the king. Uh-oh. She could only be spared if he lifts up the scepter. Do you think he lifted up the scepter? Yeah. Of course. Then she dies. If the king's like if the king even forgets then the guards are going to be like, oh, trespasser. Ah, yeah, if you just come up to the king without an appointment, then the guards are going to be ready. They're like, oh, wait, why, is, why are they coming to the king? Attack! Whoosh. Like bodyguards, right? Bodyguards have to always be ready. Anyways, you're invited to dinner. Please bring, hey man, and they had they had dinner, and then the king's like, "What do you want, my queen?" And what did what did Queen Esther say? Well, I'll tell you maybe tomorrow. Uh, so come, and, can, and you could also invite hey man again. Okay, now this is historical evidence. This is in, this is in the history books. Another word for evidence is proof. Can I move on? Oh, you wrote this down already? Not cool. Whose paper is that? Huh? Why is for yellow? All right, so they invited, this is day two. Now the atmosphere is a little more tense.
She's Wonder Woman. So tell me, my queen. I'll give you everything. I'll even give you my entire kingdom. Tell me. And then Esther's like, remember that new, the new decree that Haman published to kill all Jewish people? That's my people. Spare my people. This is my request. <gasps> now Haman's probably shaking. His armpits are probably really, really sweaty. His feet are really, probably really, really sweaty. And stinky. Oh, but not as stinky as one remnant's feet. Oof. It kind of smells like, like salty and like vinegar. And then yesterday, there was a bunch of remnants in the room with, with like sandals and no socks. <gasps> Pastor Shin came into the room. <laughs> Y'all remnants have stinky feet. That's true. And the Kim sisters could attest to that. Who is this? It is... Hey, man. I need some fresh air. So he went out into the palace garden. He was getting some fresh air with his pet peacock. I never noticed that. And then in the meanwhile... Esther sat down on the couch to relax. Ah, thank you, Lord. My job is done. And then what does Heyman do? Queen, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? And then who walks in, right, as he fell on top of Esther? The king walks in. What are you doing to my wife? Killed. Yeah, Im like imagine, like, there's this one remnant, and then let's say, hypothetical, there's a girl, girlfriend, <laughs> named Gertha, <laughs> that this remnant, and Gertha, they're getting married, and then another, another boy remnant, let's just say his name is Paulito, and Paulito comes, and then, Hugs Gertha? What is the what is the the husband remnant gonna do? <laughs> Get off my Gertha! <laughs> but this is the king. Oh, oh. yeah, he, he actually died. You celebrate death, but actually it was a celebration, yeah. And the queen and Mordecai is like, we have to decre declare a new decree, new rule, new law saying that the Jewish people could fight back. We can't get rid of the old law because you already stamped it with the, the ring. But let's write a new decree, a new rule saying we could fight back. And then the king's like, here, here's my ring. Yeah, go ahead. So they gathered together. All the Jewish people, they got their weapons and they were able to fight back. And they won. Yeah. What? Bobe Moon. Bobe Moon. And then all the Jewish people, they experienced salvation or they were saved all throughout the entire 20, 127 provinces of Persia. Wow. Bobe Moon. And then they celebrated the feast of uh, the holiday Purim, Purim, which is in the the 12th month of the Jewish calendar, which is like in March. And it's for three days, right? They fast the first day. And then the second day, it's the celebration. And then the third day is what? So another, another celebration? Yeah. And then, you know what? The Jewish people, they still keep this holiday to this day. Which means that's historical evidence, right? That's proof. Wow. These, and these days, Feast of, of Purim should be kept from every generation forever and ever and ever. Look at that. Esther received the eternal answer, right? C, V, D, I, P. So last point. Esther held on to God's desire. Once we hold on to God's desire, we do our best. Esther did her best and then became the best.
to hold on to God's desire. That's, that's, the, that's the first point, right? Wow. Find God's desire. What's God's desire? What does God want? Oh, my gosh. What does God want? God wants evangelism and missions, right? E and M. E and M. What else is God's desire? The church. But people take church too lightly. Worship? I could skip worship. What if, what if without you realizing that that was a matter of life and death and you just failed that test? Oh, no. Don't you? There's nothing free with God. Whatever re resolution to succeed in worship, whatever life of the evangelist you live, whatever you do for God, God will reward you. You don't know. God's desire is the church. Don't take church lightly. Many, even parents, they don't know that church is important. Nah, we could skip church. They don't know. Skip worship? Ah. Uh. Esther knew God's desire. And then she did her best. Bloop. 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 Oh. Bloop. 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 Do your best. Holding on to God's desire. What does it mean to do your best? We're, we're students. We study. Now, studying is not just reading books and doing homework, but whatever field you're in, you study that field. You practice your talent. You prepare. Some remnants have an incorrect thought, and they're like, oh, no, I, I'm, I have to succeed in worship. I don't care about school. I don't need to do. I don't need to study school. No. You have to study for the sake of evangelism mission. Some remnants they don't even study. <laughs> they don't even do their homework. They get F's. There was this one remnant parent who came up to me. My, these rem they don't even study at home. Oh my, maybe. That means they didn't find God's desire. We're remnants. We have to study and prepare with God's desire. Balance. Faith and skill. Not just faith. Not just skill. Balance. God will make you the best. God will make it so that you're the one needed in that field. Like some, once you hold on to God's desire, hey, God will make you to be a needed person in the field. Like, oh, if we don't have this person, then everything goes not right. There's something wrong. We need this person. Are you needed? Some of them, they don't think, they take everything so lightly. Like, there's this one runner who always brings a stool. If I don't have this remnant, I don't know what to do. So whoever, whoever remnant this is who brings this stool, wow, she's needed. Are you needed? Then that blessing will go to somebody else. Now what happened? Okay, but what if we don't have God's desire? Whatever effort you put in, it's going to come right back to you as destruction. Do you have to use the bathroom? No matter, like, no matter how much you study and practice sports or whatever, if, you don't, if you're not holding on to God's desire, it's going to come right back to bite you in the butt. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> No matter how much effort we give, 
if you don't hold on, God, hold on to God's desire. If you don't put worship in, if you don't put worship in church first, everything you do outside is going to come right back. Woohoo! Success. Woohoo! Skills. Woohoo! My talents. Woohoo! My family. Woohoo! I don't know. Food. Woohoo! Skipping church. Ooh, let's go on vacation. I'm telling you, it's gonna come back. But we need to hold on to the reason. What's reason in Korean? E-U. So we need to have the E-U. E-U kind of sounds like ew. So we need to have the ew. Ew. Remnants. You have to be remnants with ew. All right. Ew. You need to be ew, remnants. Every time we look at each other, we, be, we should be like, ew. Ew. Ew, which is reason. So look at each other and go, ew. 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 Which actually means reason. Culture time. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. VBS this week. No! Starting tomorrow. Why is this culture time? Why does this have to do with culture? Because do people go to church VBS on, in the summer? No, but we remnants do. That's changing the culture of America. A lot. You. You're focusing on the wrong ew. You should be focused on whoopee, not are we going to go on vacation? Or are we, are we going to go on field trip? Are we doing cooking content? If you focus on all those other physical things, maybe you don't know the ew yet. Maybe you're a spiritual baby ew. What? Ew. Yeah, there's a video later. All right. And we'll just go ahead and have a blessed form of time. May the Lord bless you, keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you, give you peace. Out. Oh, Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing. No, you can hold it. You'll, you'll live. Homework is to continue to learn the, the eight songs. And also, during VBS, it says, think about what it means to be spiritual watchman, spiritual doctor, spiritual ambassador. Now, keep thinking about it, because some people I'm going to choose you to be in a video. You'll see. For the, with the green screen. We'll see. What you. That means you don't know that you. Oh, let's pray for Macau, which is like Buddhist, and North Korea, which is also Buddhist, but also like shamanism. Like for shamanism, sorcery. But yeah. Or they, or yeah, they actually <laughs> worship. So I don't know what kind of religion that is. Kim jong -idism. All right, let's pray. Ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Macau and North Korea so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise and shine the light of the gospel there and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.